guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to contour and highlight and just some tips and tricks that help me and I think that could help you if you have any questions. So let's just go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so I already went ahead and did my eye makeup. I kind of just did a fun sunset look. I put like purple on the lid and then I added some orange and yellow. So if you like this look, leave in the comments if you would like to see a video on it and I would be happy to do that. But now I'm going to show you how to contour and highlight and conceal and all those fun things. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my two favorite primers. These have been my favorites for a couple weeks now. It is the Hangover Too Faced Primer and the NYX Pore Filler. So I just go ahead and I'll do like a pump and a half of the Hangover Primer. And then I like to add on the NYX Pore Filler Primer right on top. And then I mix those together and put it all over. So I wanted to show how to contour and highlight because I feel like a lot of people ask me how to do it a lot and I just want to show how to do it. <laughs> and I broke out because I'm all out of my favorite toner and it's doing me dirty. So, I'm going to show you first how to conceal this. So, um, I used to conceal a different way and it just wasn't working out. I feel like it wasn't, you know, like covering it fully how I wanted it to, but um, I found a way to do it the way do it now. So what you're going to do is take your concealer and I use the Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. This is my favorite full coverage concealer, hands down. So you're going to take the sponge and just dot it on like this. And then you're going to take a small flat brush. So this is like my favorite to conceal with. It is the MAC 252 SE brush. So what you're going to do is you're kind of just going to, you don't want to swipe it. You're just going to pat it. So you're going to go like this. And then once you kind of blend that out a little bit and use a light hand while you're going in and doing this, you're going to go around the blemish and just dab. And this like will completely full cover your blemish and then once you put your foundation and everything else on you won't be able to see it. So you just want to blend that around. And sometimes I like to go in a second time if it's just like an annoying big blemish, which this one was. So, we're going to use some full coverage on that little today. Okay. So then once you have that kind of blended, just take a brush and just blend around it. So then I like to take this Derma Blend. It's a loose setting powder. And I'm just going to take this on a brush and you are going to just kind of dip it in and just set it. So next I'm going to take my foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation and this is the shade Beige. So. I'm going to use a new beauty blender. This was in my Ipsy bag and I still haven't tried it, but today I'm trying it. We're going to see how it works. This is called the Pink Pooter Splash and Swirl Professional Makeup Sponge. It came in this little bag. So I'm going to take my foundation 
and I kind of like to just pump this out on the back of my hand first. I usually do like two. So you're going to just, I like to dot my foundation on first and this foundation doesn't dry down right away. And you can put that over there because we set it. So you're going to take your beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever, and you're going to just blend that all in. Now it's time to conceal. And concealing is one of my favorite parts because it just makes you look more awake. Um, it can get rid of dark under eyes and just really brighten up the face. So first I like to just dot it all over my face. So we're going to go a lot. Sometimes people like to do a lot of concealer. I'm, I just like to use like a little bit. I don't really think I need that much. So I'm just doing, I like to do three dots under my eyes like this. And then I'll do a dot on my chin, a dot on my cupid's bow coming down the nose and on your forehead. Okay. And the places where you want to conceal is where the light hits your face. So you want to brighten all of those parts of your face up. So I'm going to take this side. I'm actually really excited to use this side for concealer to get up in the corner. And you're just going to dab. Okay, so this is how it should look once you have concealed and blended that all in. I think it looks really nice so far. And so now we are going to bake. So I don't know how many of you have heard about baking, but when you bake, you're, you put on a thick layer of powder. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And the reason why people bake is because your face temperature sets in your face makeup and it helps it to stay all day it makes it creaseless and it's just a really good way to you know set all of your makeup and if you're going out for all day you know it's not going to move around so this is why I really like to bake so you want to just I'm taking that derma blend loose setting powder and I really like this stuff because it gives no flashback in photography um, some pictures I see people's like under eyes will literally be white in pictures and I'm just like what like so I really like this powder because it doesn't give flashback so you're going to take a dab it in and you're going to take a good amount on your brush and I kind of like to hold it because it's gonna fall like underneath but oh well so then you're going to I kind of like to look up and you just press it on your eye and your face is literally going to bake this into your skin just to help give a that is all over my shirt <laughs> anyway so your face is just going to bake this into your skin for a creaseless finish. Now I need to dust myself off. <laughs> so then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. And then we're going to do the same thing with the chin. It is literally flying all over the place, people. And the forehead. So you want to leave this on for about five minutes. 
and then once it has baked, we will dust it away. So now we're going to let that sit into our skin. We're going to let it bake and let it be creaseless. So now I like to go in with contour. So this is one of my favorite contours. Um, I actually use two. I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this one is in, I think, just bronzer. I know there's like a lighter one and a darker one I think, but I like this one. And then I will contour it with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. So first what I like to do is I will go in with this bronzer and I'm going to get um, I'm going to use this Morphe blending brush. You're just going to go in. This is really going to help us look not pale. And you're just going to tap off the excess. And I like to hit. And you want to watch when you're doing your contour to not go below this line because then it can make your face look drooped and we just don't want that. So we're just kind of like being like not so like particular with this step. I'm just trying to bronze up the skin. Okay. I want to do the same thing with the other side and I like to, when I'm doing my contour I like to stop about here because you don't want it coming in towards your mouth you want to keep like this center portion of your face um, just looking bright okay and then I like to take the contour the bronzer first and just get back with that hairline It makes us look less scary while we're baking. And I always like to do the chin and bringing that down. So now that we are kind of bronzed up a little bit, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And we're going to take a angled brush My, here it is. So this is one of my favorite brushes to contour with. It is the MAC 168 SE brush. And I like to go in with this middle shade. And it is called Shadow Play. We're just going to dab into that. And these are really pigmented. So just tap it off. And we're going to start up. Here. and I kind of like to just work my way down again staying above this section and then we'll do the same thing with the other side and at first I like to take the brush like this where the angled part is pointed down and I kind of just like to flick it up and then I'll take that same shade and go in my top of my forehead okay and then I'm going to take this darker shade in the palette and it is called Sombre and you are going to take the same brush and go into that color and you really want to flick it off because it is really dark and pigmented. What I like to do with this color is I will start again taper side down and I'm only going to put it about probably like less than halfway of my face and up and it just creates 
a shadow. It's kind of like an ombre effect. And then I'll go ahead and blend that out. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. We're going to start dark. Again, I don't wanna go more than halfway with this color. And then we're just going to blend. And if you have a hairline that goes really far back, a really good trick is using that dark shade and kind of just like putting it all the way in the back just to make it look like it comes more forward. And then I also like to take that dark shade and go on where my neck is. It just creates a really nice contoured line. So then we are going to brush off all of this craziness and I'm going to use kind of a smaller brush and a little more. Yeah, we're going to go in with this one. It kind of like tapers off at the top, but I really like it to brush off. So once you have all that brushed off, we're going to go in and contour the nose, the nosy. Some people don't contour their nose, but I kind of like to because I think it just gives a little more like dimension and like look to the face since you've highlighted the whole center of your face. It kind of lets some warmth back in. So we're going to take that middle shade and the shade and light palette. And we are just going to go down and up. You just want to do like the side. And then I like to go here and go across and then here. And then I like to just kind of blend that out. And a really cool trick that I like to do is I will take the setting powder and I'm going to take it on this tapered brush again. This is the Real Techniques contour brush. So you're just going to take that powder take that brush and once you've done your contour if you want a more like chiseled look you just tap it below where you put your contour and you can let that sit and then you can brush it away like that so we'll just let that sit for a little bit okay so I'm going to go ahead and dust this off and it just leaves you more like clean look underneath okay and sometimes I like to go back in with that contour with that um, bronzer and if I'm not satisfied with how it looks or if I think it just looks kind of too much or like too white, I'll just bronze it up again. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is blush. And I like to do blush because it just adds some color back into the face. And this is actually one of my favorites. It is the Maybelline um, blush in the shade Deep Coral. So we are going to be using this one today and you are going to need a tapered brush and just get that color and what I like to do is 
take the tapered side down and then start on the apples of your cheeks so like if you do a slight smile you can like see where the apples of your cheeks are so we're just gonna start there and then flick it up Okay, so now for highlight. My favorite highlight of all time is the Becca Jaclyn Hill um, Champagne Pop Highlighter. It just is such a beautiful color. And then in my Ipsy bag, I actually got this. It's called Trust Fund Beauty. That liquid glow, though, it's a liquid highlighter. And um, it's in the shade Lit. So I kind of want to try this out see how it works hopefully it works um, so you want to highlight the top points of your face oh, this has... excuse me okay so with got the packaging off so with this highlighter all it says is this is your highlighting super secret weapon to highlight your best assets. Just like you, it is high performance, comes on smooth, and lasts all day and night. So I'm just going to use this kind of like a regular highlighter. <laughs> um, but I love to highlight the tops of the cheekbones. I already highlighted my brow bone. Sometimes I do a little bit above here because that is where the light hits your face. I do a little bit on the center. The top, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. So I'm going to just put this on my finger. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm scared. Um, I'm a little scared. I don't, oh gosh. Okay, I don't really know how this is going to go. Let's just test it. Let's just test it. Okay. So we're gonna just gonna put this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Um. I need a brush. I need a fudge. No. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use the beauty blender. So I'm taking the other side of my beauty blender and we're going to dab. Girl. It did. Ah! This highlighter did not come to play. Uh uh. <laughs> I'm shook. Oh my god. Holy. Holy guacamole. Oh my god. I'm okay, 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 trust from fun beauty. Y'all need to get this. I'm shook. I think it's like a little blotchy because I don't know if it's a little blotchy because my beauty blender was wet, but holy Jesus, this is like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna just dab it on this side and see what it does. That highlighter was coming through. go crazy hmm, don't care like, oh my gosh. this is so pretty I might be a little more obsessed with this on my Jaclyn Hill champagne pop Woo. are we seeing this oh my 
also the beauty blender if you want an a more a more intense highlight use your beauty blender because it just kind of like moved it around it didn't really blend it in um, I like it I don't know <laughs> and then this side I just used my finger and um, I think the warmth from my finger definitely like let it set into the skin more. So I am going to finish the rest of my face makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. I just did some mascara and a little bit of color underneath. And a for my lip, I used the Kylie Cosmetics um, Liquid Lip in Candy K. This is one of my favorites. This is my actually my second bottle. Yeah, my second tube. But I also forgot to... Um, give you another contour tip so if you go into whatever contour you're using I'm going to use this middle shade um, after you do your lip this is something I always love to do to make it look more pouty or more or more fuller lip you just take that contour and go right underneath And it just creates a subtle shadow like this and it's so easy and it just adds like a cute little pout to your lip so the last thing that you want to do for your makeup is to spray it I love setting spray I really think it locks all your makeup in and I love the Smashbox photo finish primer water so spray it all over and I think it just really lets your makeup sink into the skin so I would definitely recommend getting a setting spray so that is it for this video I hope you learned something new about contouring and highlighting or if I could help you out in any way if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see this eye makeup look created in another video let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see it but other than that I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching